Hey everybody, today we're making a shelter in place recipe. I'm using up what I have. So anyway, this recipe is a one pot deal. I'm using some ground turkey. We're adding some pasta and a bunch of vegetables. And I'm gonna make a nice little comfort food type sauce that's nice and cheesy with some grated cheese and uh, some coconut milk. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell down there by it. And that way you won't miss any of my new videos coming out every week and we're always cooking up something delicious. So let's get into our recipe. This recipe calls for some dicing and chopping of some veggies. So here we go. We're going to start off with our onion. We're going to give it the super fine dice. All right, we're going to get a large frying pan out here and I'm going to place my leftover ground turkey and I'm going to put it in my frying pan and fry that up. I've got in this pan back here I have some uh, boiling water. We're going to cook our noodles in that. We're going to time it. They just take a few minutes to cook up. I'm going to toss in my finely chopped yellow onion into the pan. I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil to the pan just because the, the turkey's a little bit on the dry side. So I'm just going to pour a teaspoon or so. Remember, you guys, you can get all of the uh, ingredient list down below the video in the description. Click where it says show more, and you will find all the ingredients there in the amounts. So we want to season our food in layers, so I'm going to take a little of my salt here and just season that up. And some garlic powder. Our turkey looks like it's done. It's no longer pink. So I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to turn off the heat here for a minute. I'm going to place this into this bowl back here. All right, it's time to start our pasta. I've got this water boiling over here. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in the water. I didn't do that yet. And I'm going to cook my bonza uh, pasta here. Now here's the pasta that we're using. It's bonza pasta and it is made from chickpeas. And check out the, the ingredients or how they compare it to average pasta on the back of the package. Check it out, 26 grams of protein versus 13. That's pretty darn good and the fiber is 13 grams to three. Awesome. Net carbs, you can see that as well. So it's, it's a nice, you know, I really like the pasta. It's really good and it tastes very good. So here are the vegetables that I'm putting in this. I've got some small sweet um, bell peppers here that are yellow and red and you know different colors and I chop those up really fine by just slicing them very thin to begin with into, into like sticks and then chopping it up. I've got the same thing with some celery and in the back there is some shard. Okay so back into the same frying pan I'm gonna add some olive oil to it Now we're going to place the rest of our veggies right here in the pan. So while these are sauteing up and softening, we're going to time it just about perfectly with our noodles and then we'll be able to combine everything into this pan. I almost forgot, I have some zucchini here chopped up, nice and small that I want to add to the pan. And you can add any vegetables that you want, like broccoli would be a nice addition as well. Carrots, in fact, I have some carrots over here too I'm going to toss in. And here's some carrots. I had some shredded carrots. And we're just going to load that up. Now we're going to do some seasonings to that. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to hit it with some garlic powder. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of chili powder, not too much. I don't want it too hot. Just a little Give it some interest. Coriander for some nice little citrusy flavor. And I'm going to go wild today and add a few red chili flakes. Okay, the pasta is done, so we're going to drain this. It's time to add the meat back to the pot. We're going to reheat it, get it nice and hot again. And we'll toss in our noodles. And 
now we're going to add the coconut milk. And then we're going to toss in the cheese. Now I'm using cheddar here, that's just because that's what I have. But you could try other cheeses as well. Then we're just going to heat this up some more so the cheese melts and everything is nice and hot and then it's ready to serve. So the last thing I like to add is some fresh basil, of course, if I have it. So stack up your leaves and then just slice them, roll them into a cigar and then slice it up. You get some nice fine pieces. And then just sprinkle it on top. Gives it some color and some wonderful flavor. And now for the best part, you get to eat it. that on there. It's nice and creamy and cheesy. And let's give it a go. That's definitely a comfort food. You're going to love it. It's cheesy, creamy. It's got a little sweetness from the coconut milk, which is nice. But, you know, you can taste all those vegetables. It's a nice healthy meal. You know, something that we all need to be you know, eating right now. We need to stay healthy and this is just loaded with vegetables and some, some really good ingredients. So, I think you guys are going to love it. Try it out and let me know what you think. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas what we should call the video. I just might use your suggestion. So don't forget to subscribe and share the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.